absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful day. Yeah, real lucky. It was supposed to be real cloudy. Yeah. They thought of everything when it comes to turning an RV into a luxury home, right? Not yet they haven't. But John and Julie Gilgem have come close with a motorhome that is beyond your wildest dreams. I love the reaction we get of people on the water because they just don't expect a motor coach to be sitting it's, out it's, here in the middle of the water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Before John and Julie get too far out on the May River near Hilton Head Island, let's have a closer look at their floating RV. The Gilgams have built a truly unique motor coach, or should that be motorboat? When it goes off-road, it really goes off-road. It takes just a moment to do this. On this particular coach, we pop open the sides. These are our outriggers. Pull the pontoon out to provide us with the stability in the water. We've got big air tanks in here, but all I do is I hit these switches, and you watch this thing blows right out. This is no cheap bus conversion. John started with an aluminum boat hull and custom built from there up. The top half is a luxury coach. Add wheels for off-water driving and you've got yourself an amphibious bus. We made these so that they would slide out very wide to make us more stable in the water. This is John's prototype. His plan is to make them to order. The production model will feature built-in pontoons. No need to get out of the driver's seat. As we're going down the ramp, I'm merely going to put the truck transmission in neutral. I'm going to reach over, grab a hold of the marine shifter, put it in gear, and keep on going. No hesitation, no loss of motion whatsoever. So we hit the water and gone. From loading ramp to waterborne coach in under five minutes. John and Julie are looking for sea life, while the spectators just can't believe what they're seeing. I love the reaction we get of people on the water because they just don't expect a motor coach to be sitting it's, out it's, here in the middle of the water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Their children Ivan and Joanne, plus grandson Colton, are on board. What's their take on Dad's peculiar ideas? Doesn't surprise me a bit. Uh, <laughs> I'm used to it. How's that? <laughs> when we're on an RV and we're in the water. I mean, you don't see that. It's never been done before. Ivan had a hand in much of the outfitting. In his book, that earns him roof diving privileges. <laughs> wow! This is cool. Us being a boat, that gives you the best of both worlds. You have a houseboat, you have a motor coach. Every lake, every piece of water that you drive by is potentially your place to go and enjoy. John wants to build a fleet of these. The key to the design is simplicity, from the road to the water with no fuss, and only one engine. On the back of the engine, there's called a rear engine power takeoff. That gives me two shafts. One drives the normal transmission that you would expect in the motor coach. A second shaft drives the marine transmission. So when we get into the water, all I'm simply doing is I punch the neutral on the road transmission, grab a hold of the marine shifter, I put it in gear and the propellers start turning immediately. And uh, we go in, it's that simple, we're a boat that quickly. Being both coach and boat means a bigger than usual control panel. The driver has instruments for land and water. This basically is my marine console. And over here, we've got navigation lights. These are indicators for both the rudder, which the rudder actuates right here with a touch of this joystick here. And I've got indicator gauges that actually tell me, believe it or not, where the front wheels are and where the rear wheels are, because when we're in the water, the front wheels can act as rudders too. And so when you go to land, you have to make sure that your wheels are straight forward. And this is my marine shifter that we put it into gear. We've got our water controls. We've got our automatic leveling system with computerized leveling. Right here, we have the three bilge lights. The bilges are enabled, and we have warnings in each section of the bilge. We have a complete automatic fire suppression system on board depth gauge here, and then we have this huge electrical panel here, all of the low voltage on one side, all of the high voltage for the uh, generator controls and so forth on this. And what modern coach would be without the backup camera? The screen displays even more functions. We've got the uh, glove box set up for an onboard computer, so we can have the moving map GPS, the backup camera, and the PC all tied onto one monitor. 
The coach is designed for calm water sailing. John would not like to see owners crashing into the surf. Oh, we don't recommend that it goes into open ocean. I mean, as long as the, the weather and everything else and the conditions are right, this is designed as a houseboat, and therefore its limitations are about the same. You know, three to four foot waves, uh, things like that. Um, but, you know, it's incredibly stable. Apart from propellers, the six-foot rear swim deck is an instant giveaway. Go fishing and grill the catch on the spot. The rear bedroom has a starboard slide out, while the living room slides out on the port side. Up front, there's a full entertainment theater and midway an elegant kitchen. The bathroom highlight is a shower and jacuzzi combination. The Gill Jams wanted the high-end look of a luxury yacht. They chose the teak woodwork together. After that, Julie added a few touches of her own. It's a full operating kitchen, all residential appliances. And uh, if you'd like to come back, I'll show you. We special ordered the sink. We wanted to make it a very nice, deep sink. Solid granite countertops. We've got a dishwasher here, the glass cooktop. The microwave is also a convection oven. All the drawers have full extension and the slides we wanted to make absolutely certain that the kitchen was completely usable. I also have a full residential um, refrigerator. It's got ice and water in the door. We've got a trash compactor back here, marble floors on it. And here's something you won't find on other coaches. It's very rare to actually have a jacuzzi bathtub in a motor coach. Most of them have the stand-up showers. And it's a jacuzzi with a view. Now, check out the captain's cabin. This is a queen-size bed. Now, this is a room slide-out. We also had a room slide-out up front. This room slides out 30 inches, and it is in the out position right now. You've got the back deck here, and this is a six-foot swim deck. You simply pull the pin and the deck goes out, and I think you guys saw that when you were on the water. And it makes for additional um, swim platforms so you can fish, you can put table out here, you can put a barbecue grill out here and hang out. John and Julie Gilgem's amphibian is quite a head turner. Reactions run from surprise to outright disbelief. <laughs> We've had him run down the boat ramp, hollering if we need a tow truck, you know, just petrified and want to call 911 for us. And, uh, and then when they get out of the water, we have boats that are circling, thinking that we are in trouble. You know, do we need help? When you come up to the ramp, if you are coming up and you've been out for a little while and you come back in, there's this guy that's just putting his boat in. He's just gotten to the ramp. He has no clue. And all of a sudden, he sees this motor coach coming out of the water, and his eyes just get big, and he just doesn't know what to say. <laughs> it's just really twists on people's mind. 